Okay, here we have the Edu05 educational board. The idea is to learn how to master USB connection with the computer. So what we have in the box, we have the board itself, LCD, some buttons, potentiometers, uh, light dependent resistors, some LEDs, so everything input output is on the board itself. First we will test the board by just simply connecting the USB. Okay, what we have here, so the board is showing the LCD is working and now we can test all the switches. I press button 1, the display shows button 1 and also LD1 is lit. Button 2, so a simple indication that button 2 is pressed. Button 3. Button 3 is something special, so it will read the value of potentiometer 1. So if I turn the potentiometer, you will see on the display that the value is changing. Button 4, the other potentiometer. Button 5 will read the temperature of this sensor here. So you see it's 25 degrees Celsius. Button 6 will show you the value of a temperature dependent resistor. Button 7 will show you the value of the light dependent resistor. So if I hide this resistor, the value will change. So now we have a higher value, more light, and the value will go lower. So this test is showing us that the board is functioning. The next test will show you how to communicate with the PC. To start the communication, we press button 8, it shows connecting, so now you can see that the board is connected to the computer. Okay, so next we will show you a demonstration program that USB is really communicating with PC and the board. We'll start the first graphical demo. So now on the display we see indeed that USB is uh, connected with the board. We have two types of programs that you can download from our website. One is with a graphical demonstration of the board and the other program is more technical representation. So first we start the graphical demo. You see a real demonstration of the board itself. First we press the connect button and you see here that the board DU05 is connected. What we can do now is press the button on the board and you will see on the screen the communication with the board. So I press button 3 and I see again the value of potentiometer RV1. Button 4 and so on. So the exact same thing as while testing the board itself. What we can also do is press the button on the screen. So if we press the button here, we have the opposite. So we see the real communication between the PC and the board itself. Press button 2, press button 3, again we see the graphical representation of the value of RV1. We change the value here. And we see both on the screen and the PC, the value is changing. 
So we actually see that there is a real communication between the board USB and the PC software. Button 4, value RV2, and so on. So the temperature, everything the same like the board itself. So then we have another demonstration program, a more technical demonstration. First I will disconnect the board. Okay. And start the more technical diagnostic software. I press connect and I see that the board is connected. Okay, what we see here, first we see digital input output. If I select input, I will see the action of each push button. If I select output, then I can set here the LEDs on the board itself. I have a button here, set all digital or clear all digital. So the digital is represented by LEDs. Then we have here some analog values, for example, RV1 value, RV2 value. And I can change a value on the board itself. You see the bar is changing. Of course, also NTC value. If I heat it up, it will change. Or light dependent resistor. If I change the light, it will change also the resistor value. But we also have two PWM outputs. So this will act like a regulation of an output value. So like here, I can change the contrast of the LCD. And I also can change, for example, the LED value. So this will demonstrate all the analog and digital input outputs. What I can also do is set text on the display. So if I press right LCD, it will show you the text that I have typed here. This one will show you the position of the text. If I put it position 7, you can see that the position on the screen has changed. So all this software can be downloaded from our website to test completely the board. The next step will be that there is a how-to, how we can start making our own programs.